Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Alderman Scott Wagesback here with members of the Progressive Caucus and other organizations um, here today about the swap penalty payment that we strongly oppose as the Emanuel administration's plan to voluntarily pay massive interest rate swap termination penalties will lead to windfall profits for big banks. We're here today to urge the administration to delay or abandon its plans to pay these massive interest rate swap termination penalties leading to these windfall profits for banks and costing taxpayers more over the next few decades. The Emanuel administration announced its plans to borrow money to make these large upfront swap termination pa payments now instead of over the next nine to 15 years as the deal matures. And this is a marked difference from the plan that was proposed just several months ago. We've asked, as you, many of you know, yesterday for the administration to give us details about their long-range plans, financial plans, especially as related to these swaps. We've asked for the administration policy, the written policy, and we're waiting for that information to come. The, there's no financial benefit to giving the banks everything they could have ever wanted with these swaps. And with, the administration has said we're getting out of these risky deals, but what we're getting out of this deal is an irresponsible financial move by the administration. The caucus is here today, several of us, to talk about this and say that we need to stop this plan, abandon it today, and not move forward on behalf of taxpayers. With that, I'm going to hand it over to Alderman John Arena, who will talk about the details of the swap termination. Thank you, Alderman Wagesbeck. Uh, again, I'm Alderman John Arena from the 45th Ward. Uh, Albert Einstein is quoted as saying, the definition of insanity is repeating the same behaviors and expecting a different outcome. Passing a massive bond authorization that includes buying out the Mayor, mayor Daly's interest rate swaps with even more borrowed money is a bad idea. Borrowing to voluntarily pay these swap termination penalties now will cost, cost the city even more money. The mayor is proposing to pay the banks all of their expected profits on the swaps at once instead of over the next nine to 15 years. This is the worst possible time to voluntarily pay termination penalties. It would make these already bad deals even more expensive to taxpayers for two reasons. The city's credit rating is still junk. New borrowing will be at the very highest interest rates. The property tax and other measures that we passed back in November were intended to help raise the credit rating of the city, but there hasn't been enough time for this effect to be felt. We'll be choosing to be at the highest interest rates when we know the rate will likely be going down. Two, the interest rates uh, have begun to rise at the Fed level. And this has been talked about by uh, proponents of this. But because of the structure of the toxic swaps, when interest rates go up, the city's swap losses go down. Termination penalties are based on the current value of all of our future payments <coughs> to the banks. So we know that the expected losses will get smaller as interest rates rise. The mayor is asking to terminate at the exact moment when the penalty payments are at their highest. We know that, and in that, on that regard, we know that the Fed moves very slowly on interest rate increases. So we have plenty of time, and that is not a threat to the viability of this, uh, or a benefit to us to do this now. Uh, I'd like uh, to introduce Alderman Carlos Rosa from the 35th Ward uh, to talk about what we're doing with this. Thank you, John. You know, put simply, this can amount to another giveaway to the banks. We are getting out of the deal by paying the entire ransom, and that's an irresponsible financial move. By paying the banks up front and choosing the worst case scenario, the Emanuel administration isn't mitigating the risk, they're realizing it. It's like claiming that you've lowered the risk of your car getting stolen tomorrow by handing the car keys to a thief today. It's time for the Emanuel administration, it's time for the city to act in the best interests of Chicago's taxpayers. We need to push back against these bad bank deals, not just give them the full ransom. Instead of giving the, the, the keys to the car to the thief, 
we need to actually take steps to make sure that we're protecting the interests of Chicago's hardworking taxpayers. And so that's why I'm standing here today with the Progressive Caucus uh, making this call. Alderman Susan Sidlowski Garza, 10th Ward. These deals have harmed our city, but they have been incredibly profitable for the banks. The city of Chicago has already lost over $830 million since these taxes, toxic interest rate swap deals started in the late 1990s. CPS has lost another $500 million, and that's the same amount as the budget deficit that they claim may force thousands as layoffs. These are not payments on debt. They are profits on the sides of bet, sold to our city as a way to save money. Not one cent of this pays off any city debt, and the Emanuel administration's plan would cost taxpayers significantly more money. The big banks can profit hugely from the predatory swap deals and from fees for issuing new bonds and from the interest payments on these new loans. 2015 was the highest year yet for Chicago payments on bank penalties and the administration has to take action to rein this in. With that, we'll take any questions that you have. The mayor's plan? No, your. I mean, what are, why are we, what's the next step? Well, I think, um, you know, when you look at uh, the reporting that the Chicago Tribune did on this, there were several cities, uh, over 10, I believe, that actually went and fought uh, these predatory loans. Um, and they had money returned from the banks to those cities. What the mayor's administration here is doing is basically saying, we're throwing our hands up and we're just going to hand over the money we've supposedly negotiated. Nobody really knows what those negotiations were. And what we're saying is go back to the table, be public about it, and fight these predatory loans and say, what can we get out of them? And we haven't seen that kind of response that many people have been asking for, for not just the last couple days, but the last couple years. He saw Carol Brown just talk that yesterday that in no city there was elements of fraud in those deals, and this, these are pretty straightforward contracts. Do you, do you dispute that? Uh, I would dispute it. I would, uh, we're basically getting a response from people who represent those same banks. So how can, how can we trust those reports? And what we need to do is have, uh, you know, if it takes somebody that's independent to look at these, truly independent, and say, here's what abilities you have to challenge these, to take them to court, whatever it might be, that's what we need to do. And we haven't seen a report that says, here's what those other cities did. We've heard a few words, but we haven't seen any details on it. So you want to strip out the portion of the borrowing tomorrow that includes these, the, the end of this, of these kind of payments? How much is that that you want to spend on borrowing? Uh, Alderman John Arena from the 45th. So, yeah, we want to see a more measured, methodical approach to this, as was laid out in the budget conversation in November. It was a four-year plan to wean ourselves off of bad practices. Nobody's denying that they're, they're, the scoop and toss was bad practice. Nobody's denying that the swaps are bad practice, but we need to get out of them at the right time to the benefit of the taxpayers. We're doing this now with borrowed money when the, that borrowed money is going to cost us as much as it possibly can. We've, we need to take measured approaches. And to the question earlier about uh, these were pretty straightforward, nothing about these deals are straightforward. They are incredibly complex financial instruments. So it's disingenuous to say that this is a simple deal. And I'll also say that at the time we went into these deals, the administration that was in place is also the administration that went into the parking meter deal. So if we trust that that administration vetted that deal, and we know they didn't, and we know that that wasn't a good deal for Chicago, how can we say that those same financial leaders in our city cut good swap deals at the same time? I don't trust that. So how much would you take out of borrowing to improve tomorrow? It's now down to $2 billion. What would you take out of it that is supposed to go for this? I would say we take out all of the swaps right now, and we look at <coughs> roughly $100 million, and maybe more in some of the other offerings, but within the GO bonds, I believe it's $100 million. But we have multiple bond offerings that are being authorized tomorrow. So we need to look at all of these and say, one of the things that we're asking, and we think to the issue of 
the legalities here. We want, we're going to write letters to the SEC and to the Illinois AG to ask them to look into these deals to confirm whether these were uh, entered into legally without fraud or without misrepresentation. Uh, we're also uh, looking at introducing an order compelling the law department to do everything it can to look at these deals and see if there's legal measures that we can take to either terminate the ones that exist or recoup losses on or payments we've already paid on past swap deals that we've bought out of. So there, we need time. The administration needs time to do that activity. These agencies need time to look at these. This is the wrong time to move forward with things in a rush. So maybe you're going to try to pull it before tomorrow? Are you going to try to push the vote off? I mean, does that mean that you have power to stop, to, to stop it? Right. Well, I mean, there's, we, we're going to continue to talk to our, our colleagues uh, and put pressure on them to slow down on this. Uh, the administration has already shown that we can pull that new money out and still be okay in the market. So clearly, this is an opportunity to step back, reassess, and make the best decisions and educated decisions as a council and as an administration setting our policy. Can I defer and publish any two of you? Deferring and publish only pushes this off another month or they call an emergency meeting. We as a council need to make better choices on behalf of our constituents. Borrowing money to pay off debt and, and penalties that we don't have to do right now is not good financial practice. So I encourage, I know all of my colleagues here today are going to uh, vote, be voting no against this, but if the administration comes back and, and adjusts its policy and pull some of this stuff out so that we can say, go forward with the things that should be done now, but take measured approaches in the, in the near future and stick to the plan that was outlined during the budget season. Then we uh, weigh in on this part of the borrowing, just what you're talking about, the, the, the fixed rate versus borrowing to pay the termination fees? Only with a cursory memo. Again, he was in the same briefing that I was, so he is getting this information at the same time. And that's a perfect example of the council needs time for the, the, the resources that we have to review these policies and make sure that we're getting all of the information and the best information and in taking the right steps. This would give that office time to do its review as well as the law, AG, and SEC reviews. Are you saying this could be done just by taking $100 million out of the borrowing? Out of the GO bond offering tomorrow. That's the only part of the borrowing tomorrow that is with the swaps. Specifically, that's the amount that's going towards the swaps. And, and the law department said yesterday they looked into this legal thing and found that it's no basis for anything. I, I can address yeah, that. So, please. you know, one of the things that the caucus is going to be doing tomorrow is a council order directing the law department to review every legal option that is available to push back against uh, these toxic swap penalties. And the order also includes a caveat that the law department will have to publish formally their findings. So provide us with a legal brief, make that available to the public, and then we can take that to other legal experts and say, is the law department right? Are they off base? Are there other options here that aren't available to us? And as Alderman Arena also stated, we're also going to be reaching out to the Securities and Exchange Commission and the Attorney General asking for their assistance in these matters as well, because Houston, San Francisco, other cities have negotiated better deals for their constituents. And what we're merely asking here is delay or hold off on this plan until we make sure that we have the best deal possible for the taxpayers of the city of Chicago. Don't just pay the full ransom to the banks. Don't just pay the full penalties. Fight for your constituents. And that's what we're doing right now. It's difficult to get constituents behind something like these are complicated deals that frankly, probably make people's eyes glaze over. Uh, how, do you, how do you get the public excited about something? Well, the, okay, so the, the public has been contacting aldermen. What you saw yesterday were a lot of aldermen pushing back and for the first time saying, we don't trust what we're being told. I'm either going to vote no or I want more time to consider this deal. And hopefully tomorrow what we'll see is, is that continue on with either a no vote from several other aldermen or removing this portion of the, uh, the GEO bond deal. Constituents out there want us to start looking at these deals. They're sick and tired of us signing off on deals, or a lot of people signing off on deals that are wasting taxpayers' dollars by the hundreds of millions. And that's what they want to see change in this city council. So 
we've seen a renewed effort by a lot of aldermen to push back and say we want more answers. We want answers from the outside instead of being told what to do. And hopefully that'll work tomorrow. Thank you, guys.